What's going on everyone? This is Tom McGivern, licensed associate real estate broker with Signature Premier Properties. Um, this is the Long Island uh, Housing Podcast, formerly the Long Island Housing Podcast, now the Housing Experts Podcast. Exit, exit, episode 62. Anyways, uh, today is the day after the Super Bowl and what can you say? Kansas City won again. You know, hey, listen. I'm not going to hate on Kansas City. They, they they outplayed the San Francisco 49ers. So be it. Anyways, enough of that. Let's talk about real estate. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the, the numbers for February 2024, uh, the available inventory as I normally go over it, and last, uh, last month's January numbers. Now, I changed the format. This is going to, going to be 11 minutes. And if you're on YouTube, I want you to uh, make sure that you can go to the little gear on the video and you can listen to this at two times like one and a half times speed or something like that two times speed might be a little fast but i always like to listen to podcasts i go to the playback feature and i listen to everything i watch almost all my videos at 1.25 or 1.5 speed just because now i can condense 11 minutes into even like six minutes so enough of that let's uh i only have 10 minutes left so let's keep going um, I, and the reason I wanted to make it 11 minutes is because I just want people to be able to consume this uh, and listen to the whole thing and get a lot out of it. So if you're a seller, home buyer, or an investor, listen up because I'm going to be going over these numbers. And if you're paying attention to this stuff, it will help you uh, hopefully make some good decisions. Before I dive in, 631-831-9048 is my number. I am a real estate agent, not a podcaster by trade, obviously. But um, if you want to buy a house, sell a house, rent, a, rent, buy commercial, whatever it is, that's what I do. 17 years experience, and that's the cell phone. All right, so February numbers. Now, as I normally do, I'm going to do this even. Uh, I'm, I'm condensing everything down. We have 2,134 houses for sale in Suffolk County as of this morning, February 12th, 2024. That's total numbers. Last month was 2,082. Right, so a little bit of inc increase condos. There's 255 condos total in Suffolk County. Nassau County, we got 1,447 homes for sale. Uh, that is actually less than last month. There's also 344 condos for sale, and that's also less. So inventory in Nassau County actually went down. And uh, so Queens, I think it also dropped, yeah. Queens was 2087 last month in the beginning. It was like in the middle of January I did that. So in about a few weeks later, here we are, middle of February, there's 2,069 homes for sale in Queens. And they, of course, they have a lot of condos, co-ops in Queens. 2,285 um, in uh, uh, December, uh, uh, excuse me, January, this is available inventory. Now today, February 12th, 2024, it's 2,297. So not much change, but overall, the largest gain, though, in price range, because I, uh, I used to break down the price ranges. I'm not doing that anymore. But I do want to point out that the largest uh, gain in available homes for sale is the over a million dollar market. 7.7% .7 it's up. So there were 760 homes in the middle of January for sale. Now there's uh, 823. So that keeps going up. Now, on my blog, my brand new blog at TomMcGivern.com, if you go there, it's going to take you to the, my brand new website, but you can search for homes there. You can, you can do a lot on, on my website. You can grab the uh, value of your home. Uh, really, a, you just put your address in. You don't have to submit anything. Just put your address in and boom, it'll show you a, kind of a snapshot. And if you want more details, all you got to do is uh, sign up and it'll send you over. Now, if you're a client of mine and you're listening to this, you don't need to check your home value on that site. I want you to uh, just reach out to me and I'm doing these special equity evaluations. Uh, it's a little bit more enhanced view of the market. So make sure if you're a client of mine, uh, you, you get these emails and uh, you, you know you can just sh you know, shoot me an email or text me and say, hey, Tommy, um, I'm on your email list. Can you send me over one of those equity reports and I'll do that for you. But uh, on my blog, I wrote down uh, an article about the housing affordability on Long Island, and it has improved, but that is a key factor throughout the country, too, because the rates went up. Uh, it affected housing affordability. What, is that? what does housing affordability time? It means 
when you qualify for a mortgage, and most people get a mortgage, okay? There, there are people who pay cash for, for their house and stuff, but most people get a mortgage. And with the rate going up so high and the price is not going down, okay? Because we have very few homes for sale. That's holding the line. What happens is when you qualify for a mortgage, you have to hit a certain threshold between your debt and your income. And then they measure that and they give you a percentage. It's called the debt to income ratio. And with debt to income ratio, you need to really have about a third of your income going to your mortgage. And with the way the interest rate has gone, it's jacked up principal and interest on these, uh, you know, your monthly payments and people are out of whack. So people can't afford the average home in Suffolk County, which I'm going to get into right now. Um, you know, when you're talking about a $700,000 house in that, in that, that range, even if you're paying a $500,000 house at the current rate today, which is about 6.98%, you know, it was 3%, right? Just two years ago. So housing affordability is definitely an issue. Check out that article on TommyDiffern.com. I have some graphs on there. It'll help you out. I just want to point out too, I mentioned the million dollar range has more and more inventory in it. Very important. The uh, Long Island is broken down into zones and it covers like South Shore, North Shore, Western Suffolk. Uh, and it, you know we have to see these zones in Nassau County as well. But there's the North Fork and the South Fork of Long Island, the Hamptons, and then you have uh, the North Fork. In the Hamptons, inventory has gone up. Uh, and we have, they have an 11 month supply of homes for sale. And I'm going to talk more about the supply of houses, but that's a, that's, that's huge. It's down a month and, and it tends to fluctuate. Uh, but the North Fork is six months. So North Fork is right in that line where it's, Hey, is it a seller's market or is it a buyer's market? If it's six months or less, it's a seller's market. So if you live in Holtzville or you live in Comac or uh, Yapank or wherever it is, you are experiencing a two month supply, meaning there isn't enough homes to support demand. And that's why we have that low inventory. When people say low inventory, it just means the, the amount of homes for sale, right? It, it is far below what the current demand is. A lot of people think, despite the fact that rates have gone up. So, and there's ways around, listen, there's ways to work with a rate. There's ways to get uh, down payment assistance. You have to just reach out to me and I can go over some of those options for you. Don't think that you can't get a mortgage, okay? Uh, you have to do the research and let me help you out, right? 631-831-9048. By the way, if you're following me on Instagram, I want to throw this in there. Uh, I won't be on, I don't have that many followers on Instagram. Uh, I don't have that many followers in, in, in oh, total because I'm not a social media person. I'm more of, hey, Let's get the information out there. I'm a real estate agent. It's what I do. But I won't be on Instagram that much for the next year. I'm just, everything's going to be on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, comment. Let me know what you think about the, uh, the podcast too. That'd be great. Okay, let's keep going here. I want to talk about the contracts and then the average price. In... Suffolk County. Now I'm going to do, do Suffolk County. If you're in Nassau or Queens and you want these numbers, just reach out to me. 805 homes went to contract. These are January's numbers now. What I just gave you was February's available inventory. Now I'm talking about January's overall numbers. 805 houses went to contract in 2024, January. 2023, 811. Flat, completely flat market. Compare it to January 2019, more of a normal market was 1,147 homes went into contract. That, we are looking at a 30% um, drop in no, the number of homes that, that are getting into contract. That drop, right, shows me and tells me that the rate that went down, okay, even though I just told you the rate is 7%, the rate was in the eights uh, in the summer. So despite it coming down, it hasn't affected contracts or inventory. So something to keep an eye on and I will keep an eye on it for you. Let's talk about the average selling price. The average selling price in Suffolk County is $706,000. This time last year, 2023, January, the average selling price was $643,000, $748. 
That's an 8.8% uh, increase in the overall year over year, January 2023 versus January 2024. One year later, prices are up 8.8%. Now, the month to month is flat. Okay, Last month's average selling price, uh, the month before that, which was December, was 711000 basically. So that's flat. The, um, the higher average selling price, the, the highest average selling price we've had was in October 23. It was 743000 And it's been in a consistent decline since then. I want to point that out. So uh, it was October, was, uh, was 600, like I just said, 743000 Then it went down, it went down, it went down three months in a row. Something to keep an eye on. What's happening with prices, Tama? That's what I'm going to tell you. Even though available inventory is so low, the price continues to, it looks like anyway, uh, month to month, it's declining. Okay. The absorption rate, I'm going to, we talked about it, but it's in the low twos overall for the whole, for the Suffolk County. So we're looking, and in Nassau County, it's low too. We're lacking inventory for sale. It's such a strange market, but be that as it may, that's where we're at. I'm going to keep my eye on the inventory for you. I want to talk about new listings and closed deals and what this means to you. In uh, last month in January, the market took on 1,813 new listings. Here's where it gets interesting. If you're not asleep already, <laughs> no. The new listings that came out in December was 1,200. So we saw a 34% increase. That's huge, okay? 34% more homes came on the market in January. But Tom, you just told me inventory is really low. Prices are going down month to month. What's going on? Again, the market doesn't stop on a dime, okay? It's a train, it's a locomotive. It just keeps going. It's barreling down the tracks. This thing is gonna take some time to, uh, and, and, and the effects of the market are going to shift uh, and you have to be on top of it. Uh, if you're a seller, okay, I wanna wrap this up by saying, if you're a potential seller, meaning, hey, I have a home and you know, I've had people tell me, hey, everything's for sale all the time. I get the right price for my home, I'm gonna leave, okay? But uh, you know, that's in, in reality. Some knocks on your door and offers you a million dollars for your house that's worth 500, right? You might sell it. I get it. So the, if, but if you're considering, seriously considering selling your home because you want to move, whether it's now or 24 months from now or 12 months from now or whatever the situation is for you, what I will tell you is sign up, at least contact me. If you don't know who I am, go to TomMcGivern.com. If you're in my database, meaning you receive my newsletter, just reach out to me and let me know, hey, I'd like the uh, CMA. You can text me, okay, uh, uh, and let me know what you want. If you're not receiving my emails, sign up for my newsletter. Uh, it is at TomMcGivern.com and request that equity report. The equity report you know, not only gives you what your home is worth, and it's a comprehensive page. It's like 30 pages long. Really breaks down. I break down the, home, the price value of your home. In the market and then also give you what your closing costs estimates will be and then you can take what your equity your, your uh, mortgage is and you deduct it and that will give you hey this is how much equity I've made over the last year now lastly if you're concerned you won't be able to find out whether you're buying a house whether you're selling and buying which is buying you can okay we're t we're taking buyers out we're making offers that's all you can do and you do the best that you can my job is to make your offer stand out as a buyer's agent, as a seller, my house. My job is to make your home stand out above all the others to get the price that you want. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, if you are listening, thank you so much for taking the time out. Please share this with somebody you know who maybe has some questions about the real estate market. Thanks for listening. And I will see you on the next episode where I'm pr probably going to do one on um, Long Island market indicators. Uh, again, giving you some more information, kind of different angles, talking about the median prices and some other things, probably in about a, a week or two. So look for that on, uh, on YouTube as well. Take care until then.